So we're here today at the kitchen at Summerife and we will be making three different cocktails. Um, and since it's summertime, it's the perfect time to make any kind of um, stone fruit cocktails. And I mean, everything's in season, it's ripe. Okay, so we're gonna be making the Summerife peach prohibition. So first we're gonna slice the peaches um, and just slice them however you feel comfortable. I like to slice them over the, um, the shaker so I capture all the juices. Um, and then I'm gonna tear some basil, about a handful of basil, um, some lime juice, a little bit of bourbon, and then put your sugar in there. And we're gonna muddle that um, until it's nice and everything's really combined and really nice and muddled and get all the juices out of there and everything, all the flavors together. And then we're gonna put in about a handful of ice and we're gonna shake it for 15 to 20 seconds. Um, and then we're gonna strain um, the liquid into a glass. Um, and I like to strain it twice with a fine mesh strainer, but if you like pulp, in your drink, then just strain it once, you're good to go. Um, and then I like to garnish it with a little samurai peach slice and a little bit of basil, and you're ready to go. Okay, so now we're gonna be making the sparkling samurai nectarini. Um, we're going to combine the samurai nectarine slices, and again, just slice them however you feel comfortable, um, over the shaker is preferable, um, and then the thyme-infused simple syrup and then add the lime juice into the shaker and muddle that. After that, then we're gonna add the gin and about a handful of ice cubes to the shaker and shake for about 15 to 20 seconds. So the next step, we're gonna strain and pour the liquid into a coupe or martini glass. We'll add a splash of sparkling water and a little splash of Saint Germain. Um, and then to finish, we're gonna garnish with a summerite nectarine slice and a little sprig of fresh thyme. So now we're gonna be making the Sunripe Yellow Nectarine and Yellow Peach Sangria. And we're just gonna use about two to four um, Sunripe Yellow Peaches and then two to four Sunripe Yellow Nectarines, a fourth a cup of raw cane sugar, or a couple tablespoons of simple syrup. One or one and a half bottles of dry white wine, like a Fumé Blanc or a Sauvignon Blanc is good. I like to let the pitcher chill for at least two hours or 24 hours. And then to serve, just serve in a chilled glass with a garnish of sliced peaches and nectarines. You can add ice, not add ice, it's completely up to you. Um, and garnish with a slice of some ripe peach and nectarine. And don't forget to enjoy responsibly. I do this every year and I do this every season. I do this every week. Okay, so two ounces of Maker's Mark. One ounce of peach nectar. I like to take a lemon. Generally, I like to use a half of a lemon, but I think that this only needs like just a touch of lemon, so I'm just gonna do like a little wedge. Squeeze a little lemon wedge. And I like rhubarb bitters too. And then I put in some ice. Take it. And strain it out. <laughs> you need to put a little bit of ice in there for sure and then garnish it with some basil leaves and take a bar spoon and kind of stir it up in there so you have something that's like a little visual and just a splash of soda and to make it pretty I take a basil leaf and stick it in there and voila stone fruit in general it's amazing because they know exactly when to pick it and like it always gets delivered right at the peak oh it's delicious